I have a 15 year to life sentence. I've been through the level four institutions. I've been through the violence. I've seen everything that goes on. If I can walk the walk and if I can, if I can talk the talk and walk the walk and make the changes in my life, then I know everybody else can. And I hope that the work that I do, I look at that as if one of the tools that, okay, if you don't want to listen to what someone else may have to say, to try and calm yourself down and do whatever, then maybe this will help you out. This is bad detection. Bad detection houses, um, all level four, which is extended terms, individuals who have either 51 points or more or 15 years or more on their sentence. This your office? He did sign it. Go to the line. Yes, it is. Okay. He gets his copy. This is your computer? This is it. Notice I got the phrase on here, push forward. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that motor, what does that stand for? Prior to, eight, prior to February 28th, I had February 28th on the screen because that was my uh, next parole date and they denied me two years. So I had to remind myself, it can't stop with the fact that they didn't give me my date. I have to keep pushing forward. Yeah. So this is a daily reminder every day I come to work, when I turn my computer on, I get this screen, and I'm reminded I have to continue to push forward. Let's take a walk and see what we got going on here in Badger section. Watch out. This is it. This is what it goes down with, yeah. Um, be careful, we got the shower area coming up back here. But day in and day out, everybody that you have in here, everybody's got a different opinion on something. And because they don't like what's going on, because they don't understand what's going on, it always leads to something that doesn't make sense. So now, when all the cameras are shut off, I'm gonna have to go and talk to a couple people and see what was going through their minds when they were making some of the statements that they were making. We, right here, here, right here. This is I'll, I'll be at you, bro. Check, check this out, check this out. What's going on? This is young, right young, 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 What's happening, man? Now. What it do? Yeah. Can I keep it real? Keep it real. Okay, how many times you been back since I've been in here? Oh, man, I ain't been back about four times, but different cases. Four times, different cases. You always came back here to Badger. Since 91. I'm Badger. Level four, I can't. I'm an asshole. I'm a fuck up, man. Okay. And that's keeping it real. I'm keeping it real, man. Got why 107 you, why, points. Why you keep coming back? Man, you no know, different reasons, man. Your brother out there's hard, man. You know what I mean? They ain't going to just give you a job, so we got to get it, man. We be out there hungry, man. So we get it. And then we get caught. And we back up in here. Me personally, and then, then, then I've known him for like 10 years now. Good dude. And this time around, he ain't too happy with me because I'm not showing him the love like I normally show him when he come back to prison. And that's what I, goes back to what I was saying earlier. It's not that I'm tired of seeing him, but I'm tired of seeing respect. him coming back. Exactly. I'm tired of seeing him having all these opportunities to get out, do something with himself, but not doing the right thing, coming back to prison. Do you wish that they could just give you one of his chances? Hell yeah, I tell him. I tell him in a heartbeat. Let me have a chance. I'll tell him, give me, I'll give you my TV. All right, I'll be here I'll when give you get my out. extensive get CD collection. I'll, I'll, yep. I'll let you have everything in my cell. I'll even send you $200 right. a month. Let me have your next parole chance. And then it turns into a joke. I'm a life where I can't go. Then they laugh it off because they know that I'm serious. But I mean, I do, I wish I did. All I'm asking for is just one chance. When I do get that chance, I'm going to make a difference. Not only uh, for my family, but for my community as well. I would, I would follow rules and regulations the way uh, they are structured and designed. I will have a full awareness of my parole plans, I mean my uh, parole, special, special conditions of parole. Um, instead of being waited to ask to report once a month, I'll be there once a month. And I'll be calling frequently. Are there any, is there anything that's changed with, with my conditions? Um, I will have a job, I will keep a job. Um, my work ethic, like I told you earlier, I take pride in everything that I do. 
I refused to fail. And um, in doing so, I would take everything that I've done while in prison, working with the community in here, reaching out to the community outside, and I would continue that. I would stay on that path because self-help is a path that regardless if you think you're perfect and if you think that you got everything right, self-help is a path that'll never stop because everybody needs to grow. Everybody needs change. It's, it's a continuous cycle. It does not stop. Um, and I would take that to the streets, to society, not only for myself, but for my family and for my community. How it's my job. It took me probably 15, I'd say a good 15 years to really get to the point where I understood everything that stopped me from, me, let me rephrase that, everything to where growing up as a child and all the destructive damage that I'd done, it took me 15 years to understand the anger that I had. It took me 15 years to understand not why the crime was really committed, but to really understand my role in that crime and my level of, of responsibility in that crime. It's taken me the past, I say seven, eight years to really hone in on what I've learned and learn how to start using those tools in my daily life and to help other people use them in their daily life. So over the course of the past 20 years, I have definitely been a work in progress and I got a long way to go. But do you think you're ready for society right now? Most definitely, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, I don't know if society be ready for me because I want to come out there and I want to make changes. I think that's the question. I think that is the honest question. Are they ready for me?